Hey everyone and welcome back. Um, this is the fourth chapter of our mini webinar series and I'm going to show you the sprint management board and how we can manage our tasks within the Monday Dev product. So let's open our board. Uh, previously we've talked about the roadmap and we saw how we can link tasks from the sprint management board to the roadmap and now let's go see how we manage the tasks themselves. So this is the sprint management board um, and you can see that each group here is a sprint and we also have a group for the backlog. On this board each item would represent a different task um, and of course we have the different columns to collect different pieces of information regarding our task. Um, you can see that each sprint also has some more information regarding it. So we have a timeline, we have an active indication to know what sprints we're working on right now. And we have here an option to complete or start a sprint. Okay, I'm going to show you that very soon. So um, how do we add a task? So let's say I have a new epic that I've added and now I'm going to break it down into different tasks. We can add it to the backlog group or to a specific sprint. So let's say I'm creating an additional task. Um, I am going to fill in some of the information here already. So um, we can have uh, the status here. Uh, we have a priority that we can put in. We have the type of the task, whether it's a bug, a feature, it's quality related, the role, whether it's for dev teams design or product. We can put the estimated story point, so our estimated effort. Um, if you, this is using an, a monday.com numbers column. Um, if you're not using story points or let's say you, you measure your effort in hours or days, then you can simply go to the settings um, and you can actually change, you can actually change this to say, uh, instead of story points, you can change this to say hours. Um, and you can also change to your, the labels to say hours, for example. Okay, so feel free to uh, change it as you'd like. Um, we have an actual story points estimation and this would be very good. We're going to use that in our reporting to see, you know, plan versus actual. Uh, we can add a link using a link column to our GitHub. Um, we have dependencies between different tasks. We have a due date. We have an indication. This is a voting column. Uh, whether this task was planned or unplanned. So if we have unplanned task for the sprint, we can also run some uh, analytics on that. Uh, we have a sprint indication what sprint it's part of and what sprint is the active sprint. An ID for each task description. And here we have the link to the epic. So this is the connect boards column that we saw before. So now I created a task and here I'm going to link it to the relevant epic Okay, and then that would also be linked on the roadmap and we'll see that roll up. So we have a really seamless flow between the tasks and the epics and a really seamless uh, connection between them. So the task status and uh, estimations would be rolled up on the epic level on the roadmap. We also have a connect boards to the bugs queue column and I'm going to talk about this column once we review the bugs queue board. So let's see how this works. So let's say now we're planning for a new sprint. So I can go here and I can actually add a new sprint. I'm going to give it a name. So based on your naming convention, um, let's give it a timeline and let's add some goals. So let's say that now we're going to focus, uh, focus on reporting. Of course, you can add as much uh, details as you want and let's click on create sprint. We have this new sprint at the top and now we can go into our backlog and take different tasks and move them to the relevant sprint. So I'm going to click click here, um, move to group sprint number three, and they're going to be moved to the top. OK, now let's say that uh, sprint uh, two is active, but let's say that we were done. So all of our tasks would be changed to done. All of our developers are finished the work. Now I can go to the sprint and click on complete. We can now see that this sprint is completed and I can go to our next new sprint that we want to start. And now I'm going to change this to start. And now this is going to be my active sprint to be working on. If we click here on the three dots, I can also get to the sprint overview to see more information regarding my sprint. So high level information, um, this is filled in 
automatically so once you start it's going to put in a start date once it's completed it's going to put in a complete date and a complete indication you can write different updates on the sprint so not only on a task level talk about it and we uh, we have even a, a sprint overview that shows us um, uh, more information so again we're going to create the epics on the roadmaps and then we're going to break down the epics into tasks, create them maybe on the backlog, maybe directly on a specific sprint, link it to the epics using our connect boards column. And that really creates that seamless flow between the product and the development teams and everything rolls up back to the roadmap according to the statuses. Um, let's talk a little bit about about board views so we've talked about it before what if we want to see our data in a different way and this is why we have our board views um, so let's kind of let's review the board views that we have on this board so first of all if i go to the kanban view i can see my tasks on a kanban according to the different statuses okay um, and this is filtered to show the active sprint. So we can use the filtering options here um, to also narrow down the different views or even our main table on the board. Um, if we go to the advanced filter, we can see that it's only the active sprint um, and the status is working on it um, or ready to start, right? So we can really play around with the different filters. Um, we also have another view. Let me just assign some of these to myself. So let's say I'm the developer that's working on these tasks. I also have a view that shows only tasks that are assigned to me as a developer. Um, and this is a great view because it's filtered by a dynamic filter. So every uh, developer that's looking at this view will see what's assigned to them and again this is showing only the active sprint so we can see the, the the tasks that are assigned to me on the sprint we have a sprint planning dashboard this is a, a dashboard view where we can add different widgets okay to show us information um, uh, regarding our tasks so with the sprint planning, we can see how many planned story points are planned for the for the sprint capacity planning. So we can see how many story points are assigned to each of my team members. And again, this is for the active sprint that we're currently working on. We can see a breakdown by task type and priority. Uh, we can see the upcoming sprint tasks right here. Um, and this view is really to help us plan much better. And this is how we're leveraging the Monday.com cap reporting capabilities to take our a table and run reports based on it so we can see the data in a different way that will help us make decisions okay we also have a daily stand-up view uh, for the daily stand-up meetings to see the current sprint progress so a battery widget to show the overall progress we have information on the planned story points unplanned story points and this is a numbers widget and we filtered it by the unplanned definite uh, checkbox column that we have on the board done story points so we have information regarding the effort um, tasks assigned uh, by user so this is for uh, our daily meetings each morning to see where we stand with this specific sprint and we also have a backlog view that we can see uh, only the backlog tasks um, here we can see the active sprint so only the sprint that has the active indication and we also have a view to show the tasks by the different epics so we're using our group by feature to group the tasks instead of by sprints we group it by the epics so we can see all the tasks that are connected to a specific epics using the group by feature these are the different um, views and dashboards that we have on the sprints board and again this is to really help you uh, manage your sprints better, manage your tasks better, get more insights um, and really have that uh, development work uh, tied in together with the uh, product roadmap uh, where everything rolls back up to the roadmap. Um, a few more things that I want to show you. So Monday.com is not just to manage you know tasks and work but it's also to communicate okay so we have here the update section that we can leverage um, and if we go here to the update so let's say I'm working on a specific task as a developer and I need help from a team lead maybe something that's completed or I just want to add more details I can go here into the updates I can tag people on the account um, they will get a notification on the bell icon as well as to their email and 
in the inbox indication as you can see right here and I can ask for help so hey Kayla please help okay please help um, I can even create checklist so if I have few items that I need help with okay um, and then I'm gonna click on update and it's going to notify Kayla and she can like and reply and really um, uh, we have a full conversation on it so money.com is a great communication tool it helps us centralize our communication we have it referred to a specific task and we have it all on one place so no more emails no more back and forth he said she said um, uh, this is a, an amazing feature to use of course it's all across the platform so you'll see the update section anywhere um, across all of the ports um, another thing that I want to show you is the Sprint Metadata Board and this is kind of like a back-end board to show us the Sprint information. So it's populated automatically, okay, um, once we create a new Sprint and once we do action regarding the Sprints on the Sprint Management Board, the metadata populate automatically. It con contains the information of our Sprints. So we can see the Sprint. Uh, this is the sprint that we've created together. It's automatically put in the goals. We have the active indication once we start it, right? We have the timeline, the tasks that are connected. If it's a completed sprint, we have a completed indication and automatically a start and end date based on when we've started or completed the sprint. Okay, so we have here the data contained. We, if we want to dive into an individual task, we can click on it here and see the relevant details of that task. Um, and uh, this board is to really help us uh, get a high level overview of all of our sprint goals, timeline, um, and overall status. So this is our sprint and task management board. Um, next, I'm going to show you the uh, bugs queue. Um, and then we're going to talk about retrospective. So stay tuned and I will see you soon.